How to use the radial gradient in Critter. Key thing is the gradient tool. You can find that in the toolbox. So there's the gradient there. And then you've got the various gradients along the top. So you can select any of those gradients. Also, you can click the edit and create your own a gradient as well. You can also change the opacity. You can also change the blending mode. So you can simply apply the gradient, just go to the screen, just click on the screen and then just drag. Now key panel here, settings, dockers and tool options. And you've got a couple of options there. So you've got shape and radial is the one you want to select. So select radial and now just go to the origin point anywhere on the document and drag and then the gradient will be created at that point. So I can select another gradient, select that one. Now I can drag it out quite a long way or very, very small. And all that happened, you've got that yellow, which of course it's yellow and orange. That's the gradient. So if I make it very, very small, you get a very, very small dot of yellow. The rest of it will be orange. Of course, you can go from any position again, just drag it all the way out, and then you get mainly yellow and very little orange then. And you can, of course, vary, you can vary the position. Just modify the length. Once, obviously, just release. So click on the document and then release once you've created your line out from that central point. But you can also go over to the repeat option. And what does repeat do? Well, it just makes multiple copies. You can make them very thin. So you can make very small rings or you can make very wide rings. And what happens here with this one, it goes from yellow to orange, yellow to orange, yellow to orange. So you get this really harsh line between the, obviously in the gradient. Now you could of course create a gradient very simply using maybe yellow and orange and yellow so you wouldn't get that. You can reposition it anywhere, the origin point, and just drag out and you can see your rings being a pit appearing there. If you do a very, very subtle, slight move of the mouse, once you drag selected the central point, then you'll get obviously very, very narrow rings. Now I've gone for alternating this time. Now what this does, you get yellow, orange, and then orange again, and then yellow, and then orange, orange, and then yellow. So it just goes smoothly. There's always a nice smooth gradient there. So you can go and select another gradient. Now not all gradients particularly look great when you use this, so it makes it very hard to see that nice smooth, but you can see the green in the centre all the way through, next green and then green again with all the other colours repeated. And you can see then what you've got is the origin, origin point and you've got orange and then all the way and you can see orange again and then orange again a bit further out. I think it works best when you've got just a gradient that's just like two colours. It's, it's much easier to see. So I'm just going to go maybe select a less colours in the gradient. So again, just create a there and you can see your very bright orange there and then another bright orange. So you can create all kinds of designs using this approach. But you can also combine it as well. You can use layers or you can just use blending modes. I'm going to show you that in a sec. But you can also modify the gradients as well using the filter menu and applying effects. So I'm just going to use just apply a gradient now. This time with a new layer. So layer menu, new and paint layer. Just drag out there. And again, you can just change how far you go out to create smaller rings. Now what you can do, once you've created your rings there, you can go to layer menu and new 
and paint layer again. So you get another layer. You can see that in the layers panel on the right. So you've got two layers now with those gradients. And what you can do, you can just go over to the layers panel and just select the top layer. And then you can go down the blending modes and that's the line at the top of the layers panel. And just select one of those. And you can see you can create some really interesting combinations of gradient using that. Now, of course, you don't have to use radial. You can use linear or one of the other ones to combine them. But I'm using radial in this. But you don't have to use layers. You can just use blending modes with the gradient tool. So you've got the gradient tool there. Simply just apply a gradient. I say drag out as far as you want to create the number of rings. Of course, you don't have to use rings. You could have that back to none. So you can see multiple rings there. Then you can go to the blending modes there. You've got normal at the moment. Or you could use opacity. Reduce the opacity down. And then just apply it again. You can vary the position. You don't have to put it in the same origin point. So you can create, create very subtle gradient effects using that. Push the opacity all the way up to 100% again. But you can also use filters. You can use some of the colour effects to modify the colours. You can use edge detection. Maybe blurs. Or maybe go to other menu and use wave. And you can see, I've got the preview on, you can see a subtle wave applied there. Preview there, and you click OK. We'll modify some of the settings. Click OK. And now, of course, you can hardly see there's a subtle wave. But what you can do, of course, you can go to the filter menu, and you can apply it a couple of times, like five or six times. And you can see the wave a little bit better. So you can create some unusual gradient, radial gradients, using that approach. So with the gradient tool again, you can go up to blending modes. Maybe go with darken, lighten, up to you. Select one of those. There's so many, there's quite a long list. You actually, I, quite often when I go to the, uh, these blending, I just end up going down and thinking, which one should I choose? There's just so many. It says darken, you could use lighten, etc. Pin light, screen, linear light. There's actually quite a few that I must admit. I've never used some of these ones. There's some of these like grain merge I have never used. I'm certain it has some amazing effects, but never used that one. You can always try all of the other gradients as well. Combine them in multiple ways, as well as, of course, use the opacity. Hope you found this tutorial about the radial gradients in Critter of Interest. Please subscribe to Graphic Extra's channel. Always adding new tutorials about Critter, Photoshop, Illustrator, Painter, Affinity Photo, and many, many others. Also, please add some comments. Always appreciated. A dislike or like. Thank you much.